One day for Silver's son at the park doing some exercise with his good friend Silver. It happens that they do some exercise together at the park when they had time for that. But today, while well, they were doing their, doing their exercise, they were talking about Silver's friend Blaze, the cat. Silver mentioned that she is going to hang up having a birthday party soon in the Soul Dementia, and that he had been invited. And Cinnamon asked Silver if it's possible that he could also go to the party, since he kind of likes her more than just a friend. And so Silver said that he will ask her, do you think she will actually invite me? Well, I wouldn't mind that another thing that she would, said Silver while training. Well, I mean, but if I will be able to go, what do you think I should bring as a gift? Or as a birthday gift? Well, I don't know. I mean, I do know that she likes jewelry. Oh, um, what are you getting her, if I may ask? I'm actually going to give her uh, a bracelet, actually. Oh, that's nice. Um, well, you know, I would appreciate it if you could ask her if it's possible I could also come to the party, said Cinema Sun. Sure, no problem, said Silver. After they finished the hiding the, the exercise, they remained at the park just doing some small talk before Silver had to go. But before he went, before he left, he promised Cinema Sun that he would approach Blaze and ask her if it's possible that Cinema Sun could come to the party as well. Since her birthday party wasn't in, within in the next in a week from now, so it will give him at least some time to get to know the answer and not. In, a, well, in the next two days, Silver actually had asked Blaze, "Hey, Blaze, um, if it's, is it possible I can bring a friend of mine to part, to your birthday party?" Well, that depends on who it is. Oh. Um, you remember my friend Cinema Sun? Blaze was thinking for a moment. Cinema Sun, Cinema Sun. Oh, yeah, the rabbit. Yeah, he can come to my party. I don't mind. Great, I will tell him that. So, Blaze Silver informed Cinema Sun that he was allowed to come to the party. And he was excited. Because there was another reason why he wished that he could go to the party. It's because that he had a crush on Blaze. He hadn't been in love with Blaze for quite a while now. But he has never been able to get the chance of telling her that. Because she says not often in new new hop in in, in uh, she just usually don't show up in new Mobotropolis so much. Since she is the princess of her kingdom in a soul dimension, which gives her a lot more focus on her royal duties rather than being able to go to see Silver too much. But when they happen that he do see her in New Mobotropolis, he sometimes wish he just could talk to her, just conf confess his feelings for her right away. But it isn't that easy for him. Because every not a few times when he did be able to approach her, somehow he couldn't find the right words. So, knowing that he has at least a few days before to figure out a gift for her birthday party, he had asked Rouge and even Amy for an idea of what type to give her. Both said some kind of something about a jewelry. Others said a necklace or a ring, or maybe earrings, but he wasn't even sure exactly what to give her. But then he had made his decision to give her a necklace. But the question is, what type? Is just a, a, a normal golden necklace or something which has attached to it, like a, some, like a, a heart or something? But he decided just to give her a golden necklace with a heart. Or a star. And when then the day came when the birthday party was supposed happened. Silver took Cinnamon 
to the Soul Dimension on his own. And at the party, Cinnamon gave Blaze her gift and she loved it. It was a necklace with a, with a star on it. And during the party, Cinnamon was actually interacting with the most of the others, like Amy, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and many others that had been invited. But during the party, he wished that he could have a single moment that he could be able to tell her. And that moment actually did came near the end of the party. Near the end, he found Blaze standing on the balcony alone. And he thought, maybe this is my chance to tell her. So he took a deep breath and walked to the balcony and asked, it's a, lov it's a lovely night, isn't it? Blaze was actually wasn't expecting that and turned around and saw Cinnamon. Yeah, it sure is. Cinnamon walked up the stand next to her and they started talking about the party and just having a good time actually. Then he asked her something. So I had to ask, since you and Silver are close, are you two like dating? And suddenly, Blaze started laughing and said, A lot of people assuming that we are dating since we are so, so close, but no, we are not. I'm, I mean, he's my best friend of all. I mean, I like him. Like I said, he's like a brother to me. And I really care about him. But honestly though, I never even thought about being dating anyone. I mean, my royal duty as a prince of a soul dimension has, it really assumed a lot of time. I barely have any time to do anything to socialize with my friends otherwise. Have you ever thought of, you know, ever wanted to live the royal family's life, the royal life, and just to be a normal person? The thought had come to my mind a couple of times, actually, over the years, but, but if I don't, if I lived, if I abdicated the throne, there won't be any anyone else who'd be ruling the soul dimension. I mean, I'm the sole survivor of my entire family. I don't have any other relatives. Who else would have been the, the thinking of a soul dimension? I mean, you could probably start and an put a new person to be as the new king. Start a new royal family, he said. Silver told me that as well, said Blaze, but but honestly, I don't know if I even would. I mean, sure, being a princess is, is a lot of time consuming, but it's my duty. And even before my mom passed away, I promised her I would always make sure to rule Blaze's soul dimension with peace, justice, and always been that. But I also promised her that one day I would find a good king to marry and have a family of my own to continue the family bloodline. You know, have anyone ever, have ever, you know, asked you to have a marriage? So far, no one hasn't. But if you were dating someone, said Cinema Sun, who would you even consider being dating? I mean, rather than Silver that you did mention, how would a dead person want you to want it to be like? Well, at least if someone is kind, generous, funny, but most of all, kind. I don't mind if it's if he is not a cat, if he's I don't know a tiger, a, a lion, or even, how about, say, a different species? A different species? She said, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, a, a, a fox, raccoon, rabbit, something like that. Oh, um, it had crossed my mind, but, and, yeah, so, if my ask, why was the little question? She asked. Oh, 
is just curious. I, it's all. Isn't that because you like me more than, than as a friend? She smiled almost with a grin. That made him blush a lot on his face. Uh, uh, he started. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, how did you know? Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, I've seen you look at me sometimes when we're, when I was in New, Mo New Mobotropolis or when I was with Silver. And every time we mentioned you, he mentioned how, how strong you are, how loyal friend you are, and how fast you are. So, then he realized his plan was to confess, actually somehow offend, and that failed. But then he said, yeah, it's all true. I do have a crush on you, but to be honest, I understand if you would even have considered to even be with someone like me. I mean, I'm not even a noble bloodline either. Who would say that I would have to only been dating or marry someone who is a noble or a royal? Um, I thought at least, why does people always assume that? My family could marry, my father, if I had to say that, my father was not even royal or noble. He was actually a doctor, a surgeon, before he met my mother. And it's something my family doesn't care about. Then he asked, would you even consider dating me? I mean, if you have a chance for that. Of course I would. I mean, I like you a lot. Wait, more as a friend or just as a friend? More as a friend, she said with a smile. You know, I would like to try at least to see if we can actually work between us. Same here. If you want, you can stay at the castle for about a couple of days, so we can go on a date on if you want. That made him stunned, but uh, even though that he even suggested that, but he accepted the offer. So, he told Silver that he's going to stay in it for a couple of days, and it's like, wow, so she told you? Cinnamon just nodded. Well, good luck, Cinnamon. You would like, you for probably need it. And then he's like, Are you for serious? Nah, I'm just kidding with you. It's something to see I'm just kidding with you. Just have a good time. So the next few days, they actually went on their first date. They actually were at this park in near, near the castle having a picnic. And it's just, they had a great time actually. But they decided not to be in a media that's official until maybe to say after more than maybe a few more days just to see if this actually could work. And after about almost, after been dating for almost two months, they actually made it official. When this came out in the entire Soul Dimension Kingdom, the entire public was actually happy to see their, their princess actually be dating someone. And the rest of the friends back home, for especially Cinnamon Son, all of them was also equally happy, especially his family. They could have been happier to found that he had found someone to be with. And despite that they live in two different dimensions, and uh, and they didn't even be able to see each other so often as this, that they wished they wanted to, considering for one for one thing. Since Blaze was the ruling princess of the Soul Dimension, of course, he could always go to see her to spend time. But doing even so wouldn't it not guarantee that even she would have any time with him. Because sometimes she had to meet a lot of diplomats, de delegations, ambassadors from other kingdoms. She had to meet a lot of royal meetings and had to do all kinds of things. And even just in one day, she could have probably had tons of meetings and had to sign tons of documents and barely had barely had any free time by herself. But then sometimes she had to, a spare time for the rest of the day. She, she did actually invite Sirmisan to spend time with her. But 
since they couldn't see each other so often, Simmer's son actually was considered to move to Soul Dimension permanently, so that he could be more closer to Blaze. And when he told her that, she was actually confused and a little bit hesitating to if it actually let it happen. Because she said, because she said, well, what if it is, what if our relationship doesn't even work out? And wouldn't it be awkward for you though? Probably, but I'm sure this will be a long run, a long term for us. And he probably said that it was best that he could find maybe a temporary place in Soul Dimension. Maybe that he can own or at least rent a small place there for the time being to see if this actually can work. And their relationship only gets stronger and stronger for each day though. Cinnamon managed to find a small place in the Soul Dimension in the same town where Blaze Castle was located. He managed to rent a small place, but despite living there for part time at least, he wasn't much able to see Blaze as much as he wanted. But at least he was more closer to her, and he was actually allowed in the castle because he had been given special permission from Blaze. So when he approached the castle, the guards didn't stop him. They actually had got to know him, and they actually let him in. But one day, one day, Blaze informed him that's going to be a festival in town, a light, the Festival of Light. And it's an old tradition of her dissolved dimension. And she didn't have any particular plans for that day, so she asked Cinnamon if he wanted to go to the festival with her as a date. He said yes. So they dressed up as a traditional dresses for the, the outfit for the festival and at the festival they had this a great time playing at some, some stand game stands try some food even talk to other people but even enjoy some rides but the near the end they were on the fair's wheel and and it stopped at the top there were a lot of Lanterns that was lit and floating up in the air as part of the tradition of the Festival of Light. And as they were stopped when they were on top of the Ferris wheel, they looked out and they looked at each other and they shared a kiss. And she laid on his shoulder and they said, I would never to have anything else in my life to be this moment. But well, she meant that she would not had she, she shared Sherrod this moment with Cinnamon Son more than anything. Even he did the same thing. And after the Festival of Light was over, they actually went back to the castle where they had a late dinner. They were actually just enjoying the rest of the, the night together. Even when he went back home to his own dimension, to spend time with his family and friends, they often asked him how things has been going between him and Blaze so far. He actually tells them that he's going quite well, actually. Even when Blaze had, or Silver had asked Cinnamon if he had any plans to ask Blaze the big question of marriage, he was like, um, that's a little bit too early, Silver. We can't even be together for just even one year yet. And Silver always laughed and said, Cinnamon, you should know by now I'm just joking with you. Yeah, I know, but I do hope one day that I will be able to marry her, for sure. Even if had he wanted to do that, but he just wished for at least one day. Five years later, Cinnamon actually did have the idea to ask her to marry her. When they had their romantic dinner at a restaurant in town, he actually did propose to her and she said yes. She couldn't have been happier. 
she was actually felt ready that she wanted to take the next step in the relationship. She was actually waiting for the moment that he would ask her. And when they told their friends and his family, all of them was just overjoyed. They decided to have a small close wedding with some close friends. Silver was asked to be Cinnamon's best man and Blaze had asked Amy to be her maid of honor and in that Sally Acorn to want to be to perform the ceremony since she is of royal blood herself. And after afterward the ceremony was over at the castle when they had this small party. It was just a great time. Everyone could see how happy Cinnamon's son were with Blaze. Especially when they were dancing together for the first time. And later they actually went to a, a tropical island resort in Sol Dimension for the honeymoon for two weeks. They just had a great time. And just four years four years later, Cinnamon Sun and Blaze later found out they were expecting their first child. And they were expecting a daughter. Which they named Rosie. And two years later, they actually expecting another child, a son, which they named Silver, after Cinnamon's and Blaze's old friend, Silver the Hedgehog. They couldn't be happier to have found a true love with someone they loved the most of all in the whole universe. Especially to have two children was it the most thing, the best that they can even had to ask for. And this is how Blaze the Cat, Cinnamon's son, for the true love and got the big fam together. The end.